So you're you're one of the people that came out to the job fair. Yep. And how quickly did you did you bring a resume? Did oh, yeah. you? Yep. Brought a resume yep. and tried to seek out one yeah. of the representatives there. What was your What was your feeling when you talked to when you talked to one of the reps at the job fair? What did you like? Did you walk away and go, Yeah, I think uh, I think this is a good thing, or did they, what was the process? Like? Yeah, I thought the the whole event was a great idea. <laughs> um, the there's you know a more more reps to to speak to would yeah. have would have helped, but For um, sure. it seemed like those that were there to help were you know seeking specific things yeah and so it was nice to see you know the the retail side and the processing side yeah. you know it was nice to know at least where you're going so that was nice when you so you came to the job fair gave him the resume when did you hear back from him i heard back about two two and a half weeks yeah so it wasn't too long yeah that seems about right Yep. Yeah. huh okay um why why work in weed I work in cannabis. I have been passionate with marijuana for many, many, many years, uh, from growing it to consuming it, uh, educating about it, uh, you name it. It's just been a number one passion for me. <laughs> it's just been waiting, you know, for, for the door to open and have a chance at, you know, sharing my, my knowledge and skills and passion for it. Yeah, how surprising was it? I was, I was surprised. I thought I, you know, I'm in my early 30s now yeah. i thought i'd be 55 60 yeah. <laughs> before this happened yeah you know? I, I didn't think it was going to happen yeah. <laughs> i thought it was going to be such a fine line where no yeah. one was you know it just wasn't going to happen it, but totally it it's, just totally surprising yep it's um, amazing so in the line of surprises what has been the biggest surprise for you working working in a licensed facility um i guess it would be the just getting to know the compliances you know yeah. making sure that you're i i I condone all of the practices. I like where it's going. Yeah. I think it's I think it's great for everyone involved, um, but it is very cumbersome. And you know, the more clarity that we can provide, the better. Yeah. You know? But it's a work in process. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did you do before? What was your job? I was in the this? automotive sector. Okay. for 20 years um okay. mainly uh a distributor of original equipment for okay. the big three yeah so did you find that the skills that you had from your previous work experience translated into what you're doing now yes very much so and um, go ahead and what's your, what's your role uh, at agrimeds what i'm you, the what do you do here? store manager of exit nine Thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. let's go. So, yeah, I'm uh, nice. jack of all trades and master of nothing, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Try to get a feel for everything, you know, see everyone's perspectives, you yeah. know. It, you, you get a wide array of different opinions. Try to talk to customers and yeah. put everyone on board and just try to make it a great atmosphere. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, that's, yeah. But there's a lot of passion that that is here, you know, that that makes a lot of that fun. You know? That was that le leads perfectly into my next question of what's the difference between working in the cannabis industry and working in automotive? The drive, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> but it's uh, it's it's the passion, you know. It's waking up every day knowing that you get to immerse yourself in something you love, yeah. you know, and that's that's a rare thing that everyone goes for. And I'm very, very fortunate. You know? <laughs> very, very happy to be where I'm at. So. I, I don't think it was an accident. It's <laughs> the, the people that do well, um, like a lady that we talked to earlier, mm -hmm. um, she was she was driven. She, yeah. Yeah. you know, she wore a suit and she came out and said, "I want to work in the cannabis industry." And yep. she just blew past all the competition yep. and got it. Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, it's. And I think that I think it's great that there are so many different people from different sectors yeah. all putting their their knowledge into this. Right. I mean, a lot of different areas don't get that, you know. And yeah. so it's been a quiet industry, you know, waiting to explode. I think a lot of people just, you know, if they get the opportunity, they're putting their their skills in, and it's that's a big advantage. And it's something where you're not forced to be here. No. Everybody that is in cannabis. Wants, to, wants be. to be here, yeah. right, right, and it's right. it's cool because I think that you get a 
a happier, more dynamic work environment, mm -hmm. which has a huge impact on your life. Big time. So when you're with people that want to be at work, then it makes life all the better. Oh, so much easier. Yeah, so it's... much easier. <laughs> Morale is always high. Yeah. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> that's but... the only thing that's high at yeah, work yeah, is yeah. the morale. That's the only thing that's high, yeah. <laughs> at, after hours, after let's hours, talk. That's, everything's different. All right, all right. right? So. Uh, nice. Yeah. Um, What's the most rewarding part of the work? What do you What do you get from it? Um, the customers. Yeah. The, the speaking to customers, hearing their stories, um, you know their their issues that they're having, mm -hmm. and kind of hearing the praise that marijuana, the cannabis, provides them. You know, and it's it's really rewarding to hear that and know that you're a part of that help. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and it's it's nice when someone comes in and they say I'm suffering, and then. It, it's sort of like a, a metering, a dialing in, yep. and going, okay, let's find what works, and Correct. then you find that thing that really works for them, right. and then they come in and they go, oh my God, I had so much Thank relief. You. Yeah. Thank you. It's a, yeah. And you go, yes. Yeah, you're part of a, a really great circle. Yeah. You know, it, it's very rewarding. And it, it, it is, um, yeah, d definitely. And get and the employees, you know, like you said, it's it's whoever whoever comes in is. You know, they know that it's it's not a playground, you know, and it's, right. it is a legit business now. It's a legit industry and, you know, there's where their passion kicks in and that yeah. drive and everyone goes the full mile, you know, it's it's really incredible. It's it's competitive. It is. It's a very, you know, for every, for every one job, there's 10 or 20 <laughs> that want it. Exactly. And yeah, yeah I, I think you need to hit the nail on the head with it not being a playground it right. have fun have a great culture sure. you know like sure. have a good time but be serious bring your work work ethic yeah. with you you know definitely it's needed you know yeah yeah I, th I think that's interesting what you mentioned earlier about the diversity of people that mm -hmm. come into this yeah that that makes a nice work environment too because you you get out of your circle right exactly uh, yeah that's so what's the where does your where does your career grow from here well, um, I'm hoping to continue to expand and help, you know, uh, start up new, new dispensaries, um, assist with any grow processing facilities. Yeah. I mean, I've got the skills and the knowledge to to help, and uh, you know, a lot of my skills are based in inventory, you know, retention and everything like that. And, yeah. And uh, that comes hand in hand with with this industry. You know, it's numero uno. You know, so. Yeah. I can do a lot of things, hopefully. I think at least one of the things that I think is exciting is that because it's so new, there are some really defined jobs. Mm -hmm. And then there are things that maybe people haven't thought of yet. Yes. And it sounds like from your work experience and, and your interest that there's a job in the cannabis industry that probably doesn't have a title yet. Oh, yeah. What are your thoughts on being able to, to carve your own space in the industry? Do you feel like you can make your career your own in, in cannabis? Yeah. Um, yeah, I feel like I could, you know, I feel the space and the power, I guess, the, the I guess the, uh, the chance to implement new inventory site, you know, uh, processes, procedures, you know, to make sure that any auditors, any inspectors, anything that happens, it is a two minute check of nice. the entire inventory, you know, and it's all electronic, up to date, you know, and, and stay with the times. You know. So you came to the job fair, there were there were a number of employers there. Why why work at Agrimet? Why why are you here at Exit Nine and not at uh, at Jimmy's down the road? Why um, I like the I like the the, the small family um, set up. I like that they're as driven as I am, or more, you know, and, <laughs> yeah. and I like that they took a chance, you know, yeah. they, they really put everything on the line, yeah. and that kind of, you know, it, it it's motivating to continue to, you're helping them help everyone, you know, and it's, it's you feel like you're really part of the, part of the team. Yeah. As opposed to just another number. Do you uh, feel like you're, feel like you're supported? You feel like, oh, yeah. um, absolutely. Would, if a, if a friend wanted to work here, would you say, yeah, man, this is... Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's... And surprisingly, that's a, that's a big question that I get a lot is, you know, like, is, it, is the culture going to be good? Is, am I going to be treated fairly? Am I going to be treated right. well? Right. Like, am I going to get insurance? Yeah. What, am I going to make a living wage? Like, 
And those are really hard questions with a startup. You know, right. it's really it, it takes pay, time and patience. You know, and uh, it's easier said than done. Right. But um, you know, with the way things are looking, it, it all happens pretty rapidly. Yeah. So, which is good. Yeah. It's good for everybody. Nice. Yeah. Um, That's it, man. That's it? That's it. All right. Let's, yeah, unless you got anything else. No, I, I really appreciate it. You know, I, I wouldn't be here without hand growing, so I really thank you, you know, for the opportunity to get in there and, you know, take well, yeah, a chance. Yeah, yeah. We're, you know, that's what we're here to do is to help put people to work, but, you know, that's that's on that's on you. What? You showed up. Yeah. You, you took the initiative. You had the drive. Absolutely. And then you're... You're doing what you wanted to do. I mean, that's... Yeah, it's a dream come true. I mean, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a lifetime, you know. First in a lifetime. There you go. Do you see do you see the skills that you have uh, translating well? Going, or Do you think you'd be able to... If life took you to Nevada, do you think you'd be able to take this on the road? Absolutely. Yeah? Yep. Nice. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah. But the skills where, they, where they're needed, you know. Yeah. Okay, so what... Um, What's some advice you would give job seekers to get to get a job at a at a place like Agrimed? Um, some advice. Um, have an open schedule for if there's a grand opening, uh, because it is <laughs> wild. It is very very wild. Yeah. Uh, you'll be having some long hours, but other than that, it's have an open mind yeah. and be willing to learn yeah. new things because it's all new. You know? Yeah. You, you you can't keep asking why you know explanations will come but a lot of this is so new the compliances yeah. and all that it's it's just here's the explanation we have to do this we just yeah. have to you know and, and some of that's that's tough from people with other industries you know where they're used to a set way and this is totally different you know what um, what are you looking for when a new candidate comes in and they say, what do you think of this guy? What are you looking for from a from a potential hire? What do you want to see? What do you want to hear? Does experience matter? Uh, does, does I think direct it cannabis does. experience matter? Yeah, I think it does in the long run. Yeah. Um, a lot of things can be taught, can be trained in-house. Yeah. But, you know, having some some time, some knowledge yeah. never hurts. It, it, it never hurts. <laughs> um, and it, it just kind of, it gets you in line with a lot of other staff. Yeah. You know, um, and if you're working with the customers, the more knowledge you have, the better off you are. Yeah. Because you're you're either getting quizzed or they're 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 brand new in this yeah. field and they're trying out the first day, first first visit, and you really need to know your stuff so that you know you give them the best advice possible. If there was for someone who doesn't have the experience that you have, if there was trainings, mm -hmm. would you would you recommend taking those trainings to get ready? Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, I think that's it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. No, if I could grab your, your co-worker for a minute, that yeah. would be Maybe cool. Send him on out. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool, man. Hey, thanks. Hey, thank yeah, you. I appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah, nice hey, yeah. thank you. Okay, so this is Matt Hoffman. I'm outside Exit 9 Provisioning, which is part of Agrimed. And you've just seen some interviews with job seekers that came to the job fair and use the handgrown.jobs portal to get their cannabis careers growing and i have to say like i'm super happy and excited i think that agrimed has some fantastic people on staff and uh that have that have diverse backgrounds and it's it's, it's cool to see people go through the process and now they're working in an industry that they want to be a part of. And so if you want to be part of the Handgrown story, reach out to us. If you've landed a job through handgrown.jobs or one of our job fairs, uh, we'll come interview you and, and share your story and help encourage other passionate job seekers to come out and start growing their cannabis career. So you want to follow the link to handgrown.jobs, upload your resume, and complete your profile to 100%. That way when new jobs come available that you're interested in, you're ready to go. All right, yeah, okay, so one more thing. All right, so when Agrimed needs more people and they finish their expansions, I highly recommend working at this company. I think it's a fantastic company. They got on board with us early. They came to the job fair. 
Uh, they have a very positive and healthy work environment. The people that are here seem to be very happy and enriched by working at this company. So when you see a Agrimed job posting, make sure that you've got your resume and your profile 100% because this is a company that you definitely want to work for.